Um, so growing up in Trinidad, I am multi-ethnic, but growing up in Trinidad, um, half of my family is more Indian, half is African. So whenever people find out what I am, they're always like, oh, you're from the Caribbean? I never know that, but in the Caribbean, that's how we are. We're like, we're a big melting pot and most of us either look black or look Indian. So I guess most people are just more exposed to people who look more black from the Caribbean. My stepdad is white, my mom is Trinidadian, my brother is too, he's just half Filipino and half Trinidadian, um, and I'm full Trinidadian, so when we walk around it's like a whole span of the spectrum of colors. So sometimes I've been to places where people would just stare and I don't see why people have a problem now in this day and age with different interracial couples or families and stuff like that. I just, it's so traditional, I guess, and it's, we're in a progressive age and I think that we should all learn to move past that. We're human beings, each and every one of us, and I think it's important that we treat each other like human beings. Naked Black Justice. You know, um, many people uh, judge people by the way they look, the way they dress, tattoos, their hairstyle, whatever. Um, my message is, uh, you know, as long as you're happy with who you are, look in the mirror, and you're happy with that person, it doesn't matter. Certifying your enemy sometimes silence is the best thing. When you look in the mirror and you're happy with who you are, don't worry about what everybody else say. Be happy with you. Nike. Black Justice. I just graduated from Georgia State with my degree in accounting. However, I decided to pursue my modeling dreams. Sometimes you can't always go with what everyone else wants for you. Um, my parents and even some of my friends are kind of mad that I decided to chase my dreams of being a model instead of being an accountant. Regardless of what others have to say, always follow your dreams. Naked Black Justice.